Yo, so I've played this game before like twice on the channel, like five months ago or something like that. But I kind of came back just to see how it spent and did some summoning, whatever. And then I went over to the laboratory because I wanted to see what new miracle units and stuff that you could create. So there's Estef, there's Yuta, and don't know who this guy is. I believe he's from solo leveling. But I went to Evolution Machine and kind of checked out the units here like uh, Goja has an evolution, Shad has one, Mihawk, yada yada, and I scrolled down and I saw that Joker has a evolution. And so, of course, I'm gonna get this evolution because why wouldn't I? So that's probably what I'm gonna do this video. I might try to get another one along with him, like maybe be her, I don't know. It's a lot of gold that I need, so hopefully my AFK still works. But yeah, I don't know who I'm gonna get along with him, but I'm 100% gonna get him. Because yeah, as I said, I wouldn't be me, or I don't think I said it, but it wouldn't be me if I didn't. And on top of that, he gets Despair, which is a decent support ability in my opinion. 1.3 times more damage and reduces enemies walk speed by 50%. Sounds like a decent support ability to me. I have taken care of the uh, hollow shards, I believe they're called, whoops, I believe if I can find them, hello, there we go, hollow shard, yeah, I needed seven and I got three, so now I need abyss fragments, you can obtain from random unit, oh god, okay, and blood tear, which is from random unit event, okay, that's great, so... I'm not a huge fan of these random unit things because they're all in luck. Okay, that's great. 3%, that's gonna be lovely. Yeah, I think I think it's just time to um, get to grinding, I guess. This is not gonna be fun. Uh, don't I'm not gonna do insane, so yeah, let's uh, let's go, I guess. All right, I made it to 63. Not gonna lie with all the buffs and everything. Pretty fun. Uh yeah, I'm kind of enjoying this. I'm surprised. Alright, I'm gonna try a hard difficulty. I probably won't get high waves because of it, but I don't know. I'm hoping the increase in drop rate is going to be beneficial because, or at least useful because I'm getting really annoyed that I haven't gotten a single tier. And I think I'm at like 15 at least of the abyss fragments, which maybe like normal i'm not saying uh, that i am just having terrible luck but i i don't like seeing yeah 23 and then zero i don't like it i just want to get the blood tears so i can just evolve this guy but oh well as i said hopefully the uh, increased drop rate will uh, do something it's gonna be very annoying if it doesn't do anything but we can only wait and see. I have been having somewhat fun with the, with playing it, but still, the drop rate of being 3% really just sucks. Holy, okay. Both tiers in one single clear. That's very nice, okay. So insane is 100% worth it. I think even if you can't make it to as a high wave, but the three times drop rate is actually very, very good. That means I think I have everything except the 750k that I need for him, which uh, won't take too long to get. Yeah, I just need the 750k. So while I get that, who do I want to go for? That's a lot of damage, I might not want to go for that. Okay, I have decided I am gonna go with uh, Goku Black, because I only need regeneration beans and a lot of damage. And on top of that, I do hope he has a cosmetic that will go well with my uh, outfit. Uh, regeneration bean, right. That's... I don't remember if it's event or legend. Where is it you get regeneration bean? I could have sworn it was... Oh, here, exploding planet. Oh, huh, okay. Alright, 
Okay, it was not what I was expecting. Yeah, I thought it was just like an endless run. Kinda like uh, the random one, but it's only wave one, so you can't use like uh, money units that give based on waves, but that was very easy. I don't know why I expected it to be hard, but yeah, that's not what I expected at all. And I also got the unit, which is cool, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why this has like baffled me so hard, but I don't get a lot of money from it. So I'm gonna have to AFK for both of them, which is gonna be a little annoying. It's gonna take a while, I think, because I need how much? Okay, so about 1.1 million. Eh, I think it can be done. I was gonna check how much... Uh, okay, five more. That took so much energy out of me. I don't know why. But event... No, raid, exploding planet, insane, and yeah, five more is all I need. Okay, yeah, so I have gotten the Sansu Beans. Now I just need the money and the damage for Goku Black. So what I think I'm gonna do is AFK money a bit and then potentially do some infinites where I only place down Goku. I don't really know what the best way to farm damage is but yeah I think I think that's about the only thing I can do to my knowledge at least. Yeah I need 1.1 million coins and then a lot of Goku black damage. It's gonna take a few hours I think so yeah I see you when I'm done. No, oh, uh, that took a lot faster than I thought. Literally it took two matches. One uh, non-AFK metal cooler match because you can't AFK it without placing down any critical units. But you have to deal damage. But it took one inf as well to get enough damage on Goku Black. So it's uh, time to go to laboratory. And then let's get Goku Black Rose real quick. Alright, uh, hopefully he has a cosmetic now. Oh, he does. Okay, nice. Oh, yeah, and it looks good. Good on mine. I kind of wish I didn't have this scythe now because it looks a little goofy, but yeah, I like that cosmetic. Probably gonna keep it. But now it's the man of the hour, Joker. I do still have everything. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Damn, okay. No, no quote. That makes me a little sad. But yeah, there we go. Finally, my boy Joker has been evolved. Ooh, and a cosmetic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, they can make our sun. I'm actually insanely happy right now. Um, I am going to try something real quick. I'm gonna see if he has our sun in his attack. Because... I remember in the first episode when I uh, first used him, I remember saying that I was a little sad because, you know, it's his persona and everything. But I also thought to myself while editing that you might not be able to make Arsene in the game because uh, the clothes might, might not exist and uh, rigging and I don't, I don't really know how to make Co uh, costumes and stuff like that but looks like you were actually you're actually able to make arsen in the game so bam oh he does have arsen okay that's very nice i do i do need to turn on vfx's again he doesn't attack with arsen at the moment though which is a bit of a shame i might have to bring other units just to survive but yeah currently it looks like or Never mind, I think Arsene might be attacking, but he's just like nodding his head. Phantom Slash is the next move, which is a circle attack, okay. Ooh, okay, he does move now, which is nice. I'm gonna assume that all the move names are going to be from the Crimson Flame. Never mind, I don't think that's from the game, okay. So new move is Crimson Flame, which is another circle. He turns into a hill and gets despair which is what i wanted 
Oh, I, I, uh, I kind of like that attack, but I think just Arsene being out now is very nice. I'm a big fan of that. But yeah, I'm very happy to have gotten this guy and not gonna lie, the cosmetic, they did very well. I really, really, really like it. Still, my dream is that they add other Persona characters, like not even other Phantom Thieves. If they did that, that would still be insane, but I'd love to see Persona 3 and 4 protagonists. That would be insane, I think. But yeah, I got Goku Black and Joker in this video. I'm actually insanely happy and I don't really have much else to say. I hope to see you in another video and uh, yeah, for now. Bye-bye.